What's up, homies? How we doing? I'm a big seltzer guy. Hope you're having a great day so far. Hope you're having a good week. Hope you're feeling good. Hope wherever you are in the world that you're safe during this coronavirus pandemic. As we both know, we're going to get through it. Just keep pushing hard and keep working hard and we're going to get through it. In this video, I want to show you and break down 10 exercises that pro footballers do in the gym. They post it on their Instagram. What I'm going to do is coach you through every single movement so you know how to do the movements. I see a lot of pros posting these movements, but we got to make sure we're doing them right and we have the right cues to make sure we're adapting right to our training and our body reacts well. Enjoy the video. first exercise we're going to start with is one of the best exercises that you can do for football. Football is generally played on one leg. You're constantly cutting, hopping, jumping, sprinting, decelerating, accelerating on one leg. So a lot of our training as footballers should be done on one leg. This is the Bulgarian split squat. You can do it body weight as you see here. I'm gonna show you another example where you can do it with weight. Basically, all you're doing is putting one leg on an elevated surface, a bench, as you see here, a couch, whatever you can find, and you're using that front leg and trying to generate power and strength from the front leg. As you see, you wanna get almost down to 90 degrees and explode up using the power of your hamstrings and your glutes. You're also gonna feel it in your quads. You shouldn't feel any strain or stress in that back leg. Next thing we're gonna do is the Copenhagen hold. As you saw performed by Neymar, this is an excellent, excellent exercise for your groin. Another thing that's very important for footballers that I'm learning the hard way is that groin strength. Strengthening those small stabilizer muscles even if you're doing compound lifts, you need to be doing this in addition to those compound lifts to strengthen these muscles in certain ranges as you see here. This is an isometric exercise. We're holding. All you're doing is putting one foot on the bench, putting another foot underneath, and basically what I tell my clients, you're sandwiching that bench. So that foot on the top is driving down as hard as you can to the bench. That foot on the bottom is trying to drive up and balance and drive and use the adductor. But the main working leg is that top leg. You should feel a nice sensation in your groin. The next thing we're gonna go into is a trap bar deadlift. Another excellent exercise for any athlete, especially footballers. This type of deadlift is one of the safest deadlifts for athletes because you're not having to really Perfect technique. It's an easy technique to do as you see here We're trying to get those hips back as far as possible and Drive through the ground as hard as possible to lift and explode up You're using the strength of your hamstrings your quads and your glutes and you should feel it a little bit in the lower back This is much safer on your lower back than a traditional deadlift But if your gym doesn't have a trap bar, you're welcome to use a barbell but just make sure that your technique is proper and you're not overloading the musculature of the lower back. Next thing we're doing is a pillar skip. I love this movement to work on sprinting. As you see here, we're coordinating the arms and the legs in a nice manner, in a nice fashion. Basically what we're doing is we're trying to be poppy, we're trying to be springy through the movement and kind of mimic a sprint. This type of coordination is, is what you're gonna use when you're sprinting and trying to get to full speed. To improve your sprint, to get faster, what you wanna do is produce rapid force into the ground to drive you and accelerate you forward. And this exercise is gonna help you transfer your gym strength to your pitch strength. Next thing, we're going into a simple side plank. I'm sure many of you have seen this before. All you're doing is getting into a plank on one side. So here we're starting on the right side. You're driving that right elbow into the ground as hard as you can, activating that scapula, those shoulder blades in the upper back, as well as driving 
that outside edge of the foot, outside edge of the heel into the ground and creating a tension in the side of the abs called the obliques. Basically what you wanna think of, what you're trying to do is you're pulling that elbow towards the foot and that foot is pulling towards the elbow, creating that tension in the side there. This is excellent for the lateral line of your body, your obliques, the side of your abs, your glutes, and it's a good activation for any football session, any gym session, and can also be done to your maximum after the session, but should never be done before. Next thing we're going into is a stability ball push-up with leg lifts. As you see here, we're gonna get a stability ball, get into a push-up position, do about 10 to 20 reps of push-ups, make sure we're staying stable. After we do those push-ups, we're gonna get into a high plank position and begin our leg lifts. During the leg lifts, what I want you to focus on is driving one foot into the ball as hard as you can to activate that side, that part of the core, while lifting the other side. This is gonna test your stabilization of your core of your entire body, also while activating your glutes. Next thing we're gonna do is a stability ball chest press, which is, ex which is a total body stabilization exercise. You're gonna work a lot on your upper body, obviously, because we're doing a pressing exercise, but we're also in a bridge on an unstable surface, so we're gonna challenge the core, we're gonna challenge the lower body, and as you see, we're moving those weights slowly down, trying to explode up while maintaining a proper position and not letting that low back dip or sway. We're keeping it neutral, we're keeping it strong, we're keeping that core engaged. You also wanna activate those glutes and you're basically doing a glute bridge on a ball while doing a chest press. A lot of reps here, huh? Next thing we're gonna do is a T-spine twist. As you're gonna see here, this is different than what Allison Becker did, a little bit different, because I'm just adding a little bit of a dynamic movement before going into that T-spine twist. Excellent exercise for the upper back, really good for rotation. If your T-spine is too tight, you're not gonna be able to produce as much power as you should be able to, and you're not gonna be able to rotate with as much force. So this is excellent to do before a session to open up that T-spine. You could also do it during the day if you sit a lot and if you're sitting around, or if you're riding in the car or sitting at a desk. As you see, you're trying to lengthen that arm to the sky as much as you can and really create a nice line of fire there. And then this is just a little bit of a child's pose. Activate, lengthen that upper back, those lats. Next thing we're doing is a side plank plus a knee raise. Simple side plank position like I talked to you about before. All you're doing is raising that knee to your chest while trying to remain stable and not letting those hips or lower back sway at all. Next thing and the last exercise for the day is a front plank plus leg lift. You're in a simple front plank position remaining stable and then you're just going to be moving that leg. As you see here, we're doing a leg lift, activating that glute while remaining stable within the core, not letting our body shift one way or the other, staying stable the entire time. Hope you enjoyed that video. Hope it brought you some value. Please, please, please hit that like button. Please hit that subscribe button. Drop a comment. Let me know what your favorite exercise is. And as always, if you have any friends, family, interested in football, fitness, and improving their life, please recommend them my channel. I would really, really appreciate it. And once again, as always, I appreciate all your support. Have a good rest of the day. We'll talk soon. Deuces.